Clara looks over the training materials and sees the first thing she'll need to do is insert the battery. The pump is powered by a single AA battery, which can be either a lithium, alkaline, or rechargeable battery. It should be new or fully charged and at room temperature. Clara pulls out a new battery. She inserts the battery into the battery compartment with the flat end going first. She places the battery cap onto the pump. She then fits the bottom of the pump clip into the groove on the battery cap and turns it clockwise until it is aligned horizontally with the pump case. Clara sees the pump turn on and display the first screen of the startup wizard. The startup wizard will guide her through setting the language, the time format, and the current time and date. The first screen of the startup wizard is language. Clara makes sure English is highlighted in yellow and presses select. Next, she needs to choose the time format. She wants the time in a 12-hour format, a.m. p.m., so she presses select again. Clara will need to set the time. She sees that the hour is flashing. This means it can be changed. She checks her watch and sees it is 1.06 p.m. She presses up to change the hour to 1 and then presses select. Now the minutes are flashing. She presses up to change the minutes and select 6. She presses down to p.m. and selects next. On the next screen, year is highlighted. Clara selects the correct year and moves on to month. She selects month and uses the arrow to choose her current month. She presses select and selects day. To finish, she selects next. She sees the rewinding screen briefly appear and receives a message confirming that her initial setup is complete. She selects OK. At the end of the startup wizard, Clara looks over her training material and reads more about the home screen. The top of the screen shows the status icons. These icons provide a quick look at the status of the battery, reservoir, and audio option for your pup. The top right of the screen shows the current time. The middle of the screen displays the latest blood glucose reading, or BG, taken within the last 12 minutes. At the bottom of the screen, active insulin displays any insulin still active from a previous bolus. Clara also learns that the home screen can be accessed from any other menu just by pressing and holding the back button. Ed, Clara's coworker, stops by to see what she is doing. As they talk, the pump screen goes dark and the pump goes into sleep mode to save battery life. As Ed leaves, Clara looks down and sees the dark screen. Clara presses one of the buttons on her pump to turn the back light on. She sees the home screen appear but notices a small lock at the bottom. She presses another button and the unlock screen appears. Clara presses the button that is highlighted on the screen to unlock the pump. This confirms Clara is reading the screen and the button presses are not accidental. Now that she is getting the hang of the pump buttons, Clara decides to look over the menu. She presses the select button to open it. The first thing she sees is a list of the first six menu items. She notices that there is a scroll bar to the far right of the screen. She pushes the down arrow to see the last option on the menu. Clara reads more about each menu option. Bolus, the first option, gives access to the bolus wizard, manual bolus, or preset bolus option. Delivery settings can be accessed on this menu. The enter BG option allows a BG reading to be entered manually. Basil gives the option to switch over to a temp basil or a preset temp basil rate or change to a different basil pattern. This option also gives access to delivery settings. Audio option is where to set how to be notified of an alert or notification, either with an audio alert, vibrate, or both. The volume can also be accessed as well as the alert silence screen. The status option shows information on auto mode readiness, 
notifications in the last 24 hours, quick status, pump status, sensor status, and the settings review. Suspend delivery stops all insulin delivery. Typically, this option is used when disconnecting from the pump to swim or bathe. Options give access to the smart guard features, history, reservoir and tubing, delivery settings, event markers, reminders, and the utilities menu. Clara wants to practice navigating through the menus, so she decides to change her audio settings. From the home screen, Clara opens the main menu, scrolls to audio options, and presses select. She scrolls down and selects vibrate. A green light appears next to her selection, showing it is now turned on. Now she wants to adjust the volume of her pump. She scrolls down to volume and presses select. Using the arrows on her pump keypad, Clara raises the volume to level 4 and presses select again. She selects save to keep her settings. Clara's lunch break is over. As she heads back to her desk, Clara feels like she has gotten a little more familiar with her new pump and is ready to meet with her trainer.